Meantime, we're getting a first look at one of the women detectives think a U.S. citizen murdered in Tijuana. They say Elizabeth Martinez is one of at least three sex workers a serial killer killed, believed to live in Southern California, and he was targeting them. As CBS 8's David Gofferson tells us, a Tijuana reporter spoke to the victim's uncle about the family's tragic loss. The mother of Elizabeth died several weeks after they found the, her body. Elizabeth Martinez was found dead in February, just a couple blocks away from Tijuana's red light district, Zona Norte. The 25-year-old was naked, beaten, and strangled in the back of her white Jeep SUV. Reporter Vicente Calderon with TijuanaPress.com spoke to the victim's uncle. Elizabeth knew this the suspect. She apparently has met with him before as a client. Martinez worked as an escort. By tracking her cell phone, police obtained surveillance video of the victim entering a restaurant with a man on the day she was murdered. After she met with the, the suspect, they went out to have a dinner, and afterwards, that's when they head to the hotel. The 30-year-old suspect, identified by the Zeta newspaper in Tijuana as Brian Rivera, is reportedly a U.S. citizen. The FBI will not, however, confirm that Rivera is wanted. Calderon says police have been trying to locate him in the Downey area near Los Angeles. I believe that they spoke with the relatives of Brian, the suspect, but they haven't been able to do much. Investigators believe the suspect crossed the border in San Ysidro and may be involved in the murders of at least three sex workers in Tijuana, including Martinez, who were all found beaten and strangled. One of the victims was found in a dumpster. Um, the other one was found in, um, in the bathroom of the hotel room. And this one, apparently, she put it in the back of the vehicle and just left the, the car parked in the streets. Martinez's family told Calderon they are worried there could be more victims out there. The family is still trying to get justice in this particular case, and they are concerned that time is going by and still no concrete results. Calderon says Mexican authorities are still in the process of getting an arrest warrant in the United States so they can extradite that suspect back to Mexico, that is, if they can locate him. Now, David, why is the FBI not confirming the suspect's identity and not releasing any more information than they have so far? Well, uh, Calderon blames international bureaucracy. Uh, uh, in Mexico, when an arrest warrant is issued for somebody by law, they cannot announce that person's full name publicly. Uh, here in this country, the FBI is apparently waiting for extradition papers to be finalized. All right, David Garfordson continuing to dig into this one for us. David, thank you.